It's a long way from the shores of Lake Minnewaska and the small town of Glenwood, Minnesota. I love this neighborhood. To the streets in Brooklyn, New York. I think I can find comfort in, in many different places, cities, countries. Where Ryan Schleif is a project manager for Witness. I'm just a little concerned that his profile has increased out, outside the country. A nonprofit that provides video cameras, editing equipment, and training to chronicle human rights abuses around the world. The beginning of Ryan Schleif's view of the world came in Glenwood. Growing up in a small town, hearing about people traveling and, and reading stories about people traveling, I wondered why I couldn't or why that wasn't a part of my narrative, like that, why that wasn't a, a part of my plan. And I met an exchange student just briefly and I thought, I, I could do this. He's doing it today, using some lessons he learned at St. Thomas as the student government president and an orientation leader. He was always there to listen to people, not only to listen, but to take action. No matter if you were from a big town, small town, whatever your major, if you were a transfer student, if you were a commuter student, that you, you had a voice. The 1997 Tommy of the Year began honing his voice after graduating. When I started working for Senator Wellstone, that's when everything just sort of blossomed, opened up. People should be able to live in as near a normal circumstances as possible with dignity as long as possible. He really opened up like my career to looking at different spaces within human rights. We're outside the courthouse in Sam Reap province with our partners, Likido. Schleif is still defining his role in the human rights struggle. Uh, worked with Likido and accompanied the witnesses and the family members of 12 villagers who um, have been, most of whom have been in detention for more than a year. It's about uh, recognizing who's actually in the struggle for their human rights and like what I can do to assist that. Less so me parachuting in and making everything better because I can't do that. I can't do that, but I can try to use some of the things that I and others have learned to, to support that. What you're seeing here is um, the community has used very simple cameras to document the government coming in and just destroying their entire community while they're still in it. I'll see all their stuff is still in there. This is in Cambodia. It's not just about here's a camera, here's editing equipment, let's make a film. It's about how can we structure your messages? How can we choose the proper spokespeople in order to get this video in front of the decision makers? Maybe it's the local community council, maybe it's the United Nations, to affect change. We're walking right now to the uh, new residences. Of Ryan the, uh, Schleif and Witness can't guarantee up, change, uh, but they the do promise families. a best effort. And we're gonna conduct a filming exercise there about how their conditions have uh, possibly changed. There's so many hardworking um, communities that want to have what they deserve, what they're legally guaranteed, but for some reason it's not working out. And if there's any way I can lend some support to their work, I'd like to do it. I think he has a very good sense of how to respect people's understanding in Cambodia and India, but also how to translate what they say, what they want to see different into terms that can be understood by people in government, by people in the US, by people even close by that have, have not wanted to listen in the past. When I call, I try to make sure that it's during their office hours, but it's hard to keep track. Challenge is part of Schleif's daily routine and the backbone of his philosophy. Challenge yourself, change our world. That is Ryan Schleif. That's exactly what he's doing. He was doing that when he was here at St. Thomas, and he's doing that now. I'm not surprised that he's telling people stories, and I know that he's doing that in a very respectful kind of way. Since leaving St. Thomas, I think I've, I've discovered like how connected we are around the world. You know, that, that, that while there are a lot of differences, there are so many more similarities. Because sitting in Minnesota, you may not have all the answers of what a community in Cambodia needs, but I guarantee they do.